Hey YouTube, hey guys, this is the Togo Brother, I'm Sean. Right behind me is the uh, surprise that I'm going to be discussing with you guys today, okay? It is about 55 degrees, it is the 13th of February, 2023, okay? But the weather is 50 degrees, so it's not cold, but it's not riding weather, okay? At least not for me guys. Riding weather varies rider to rider, but typically anything between 65 and 80, okay, that is prime riding weather. So, I'm going to show you how to start your bike, and then I'm going to have to cover her because I'm not going to be riding it for very long up until April, all right? You guys stick around, all right? So, first what's going to happen is I'm going to uncover this. I'm going to show you how to take that off, okay? And I'm going to show you the pieces I'm going to have to do to start this um, bike up. All right? So y'all stick around. Come on. All right. So this is my cover. All right? It covers my whole bike from the back to the front. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this off. Okay? Being very careful not to rip anything or take anything off very quickly, okay? All right, and I typically would just put this aside, okay? All right, so this is my key, and over here is going to be the keyhole for the ignition. Now, do you guys remember what I showed and t explained to you guys in the other videos? Fine C, F, fuel, I, ignition, N, neutral, E, engine cutoff, C, choke. Let's do those six, uh, five steps. Come on. Let me take you with me, okay? All right, folks, right here is where the key goes. So E is for, um, so F is for fuel, okay? The fuel lever is right here, okay, folks? This is what they're talking about. You want to make sure that this is in a proper position. Some of them have your primary tank, your reserve tank, and off. Okay, for me, if I flick it forward, right, that means it's off. If I flick it like that, it means that I'm using my reserve. If I flick it down, it means I'm using my primary. So right now it's in my primary tank, which is right here. Okay, now your reserve tank is going to be all the way down at the bottom end. Okay, but all the way up here is your primary tank. Okay. So, this is in the proper one. So, that took care of F, all right? You guys will see this a little bit later, so just keep in mind what that is, okay? Okay, so I is for ignition, okay? Which typically means the key is in the keyhole, okay? And you turn her up to start, okay? N is for neutral you're going to need to use your gear shift come here let me show you something okay as you will see this is my speedo cluster right here okay what you're looking for is an indicator that it is in neutral do you see that green light right there okay you see that that green light that means it's in neutral watch what happens when i put my foot forward Okay, it goes away. When it goes back, it means it's in neutral. Okay, see that? Now it's in neutral, I can let go. That is N, N is for neutral. That takes care of step three. Okay, so we got steps one, fuel, two, ignition, the key, N, neutral. What are we missing? Engine cutoff. That's right, you guys are paying attention, I love it. Okay. This here is my engine cutoff switch, okay? 
typically you will see a mark underneath the very bottom this is a very aged um control button okay so you won't see it but do you see how this part here is not bevel and flush as it is here okay that's telling you that this is now not usable, meaning I'd have to engage it by pushing it down, okay? Also, folks, look at the control. Do you see how it says um, it's a rotating circle, right? That means it's ready to be used, but look up there. It doesn't have it. It has an X, so that means you should not, right? So now I can't start it. Watch this, okay? can't do it the engine cut off right now i'm gonna pull it down and try and start it okay but let me go back into the c for the choke let's say it's a very brisk day okay what you're going to do is pull the choke remember this knob i was telling you about earlier you're gonna pull it all the way out if it's really cold to get it um pumping so what i'm gonna do is pull it out a little bit okay for the choke it's going to add a little bit more um f f airflow in there and a little more fuel to get this combustion going okay so that's the choke so we went through f i n c let's start her up okay everything is good this is off here we go come on it hasn't been started in a while so it's going to take a little bit Coming outside, I'm gonna start my bike. Let's go. All right, mount the bike. I'll pull the kickstand up. Okay, I have my key. I'm gonna stick it into the ignition. My fuel lever is in. I'm gonna turn the key. I have a, a neutral light. We're good to go. My engine cutoff is off, and now I'm gonna start it up. Come on. I've already started it, so I don't need to pull the choke out. If it was really cold, I would have had to pull out the choke. There you go. You and me have successfully started our motorcycle. Let's go for a ride. Come on. It's in gear. Let's ride. Thank you all for watching. Check out my other videos. Bye.